Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 using the By Blood Alone DLC. I'm your host, Mr. Switzerland Lover, but now we're a little bit in the past, if I do remember correctly, because we are able now to do demand Italian elves because I chose an unaligned guy, except instead of the other guy who gave us more fascism daily gain, so we're actually able to do this for real. For decades, Republica Suicia. Sociala, Italiana has shamelessly claimed our Italian-speaking cantons. If they can do that, we can certainly demand their, that their Alps join our democratic regime after all. They belong in the Swiss Confederation as much as Tessino belongs to the Repubblica Sociala Italiana. They accept we get territory but demand the French Alps. It's a matter of time until France crumbles under internal and external pressures. We must take a proactive stance in the defense of the Alps, otherwise a dangerous enemy can take control of the defensible positions that can serve as a staging ground for an invasion into our territory. And they accepted! The Italian government has made the right call and conceded that their Alpine territories rightfully belong to us. This will guarantee your safety from further aggressors. We'll welcome these new cantons. Shnikes, my boy! Now that's pretty god darn nice. Civilian oversight. Local autonomy, you bet we will. Um, please, local autonomy, local autonomy, yes, please. That is super nice. More factories to use and more stuff here in total? Oh, yes, please. I love it. Um, and we are pretty darn not bad for not aligned, so overall pretty darn decent. We do have Mafia on the Rise, which probably is part of this area, probably. Ah, uh, the Mafia. How do we get rid of the Mafia? Uh, but in the meantime, we're still trying to improve our divisions as well, um, which is probably one of our main goals here, in all honesty. Uh, we're still pretty good relations with all these, except for Italy, which is, well, not great, but whatever. We can buy something from these guys. Hmm. Small airframes. Purchase bombers. Elections for the president. Okay, so now we have to get rid of one of our guys. Um, it's not bad. I don't mind daily, more daily support. I just don't want to lose this guy yet. We can still use all that political power. So it's either this guy or this guy. So under limit war support. Well, this guy gives us a lease. So Jakob Labhart. So while active, we get more weekly war support gain. Daily democracy. Holy crap. Goes down by 0.3. Plus 30% civilian factory construction speed. Holy shnikes! That's not bad, but like... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so now we gotta replace him with someone else. Give us about a day or so. We gotta choose someone else. It's 150, which is relatively expensive, but we gotta keep it with fascism and communism pretty low. I don't mind maybe even more democracy support. I really don't care, to be honest. 30% more army intelligence is not bad either. Um, I would like to build more stuff, though. Intelligence officers, weapons designers, material designers, support for unaligned. Um, we can always grab fat, more fascism later, and everything else pretty much later as well. Uh, let's take a look here first. So, Alpine Redoubt. That's not bad. We need less than 50% for the Federal Assembly, which is not bad, and less than 10% support for, con or for fascism. So, we get democratic unrest, which will push us towards more democracy stuff. Liberate Italy. Less than 40% support for the Federal Assembly, so we really cannot be democratic whatsoever, which is fine with me. I don't really care. Um, just cannot be fascist. We get our lower everything else. I like this guy a lot. Point 0.3 is not bad. Upgrade times. You know what? We'll probably just go with the upgrade guy. Let's go with this, uh, 30% more decryption. Do I want to save that guy, though? I might want to save him. Diplomat wouldn't be bad. I do like to drift defense. No. Uh, 20% democracy. Who else do we have here? Anyone else interesting? I don't want any more democracy. I definitely don't want any more democracy. So a Democrat. That's not bad. Intelligence officers. Well, it's good. We'll just grab you. Make it easy for us. And really start supporting this a whole bunch more. Also, Czechoslovakia is at war with the Axis, and Hungary is in the, in the Axis as well, and they lost that tile there as well. So, fourth international, huh? Oh, Lev. Hey, Lev. Hope you're having a good day. So, we want to broaden our militias. Because war production would be bad. Oh. Oh, look at the Italians. Actually, we could. I would like to do, demand the French Alps, and then do uh, Alpine Redoubt. As long as we fortify ground and fall back on, we can be an unstoppable force against invaders. We must make the Alps even more impregnable, and outwardly grow our influence from there. Only then we can put some distance between us and the enemy, wherever it may be, of course. 
So it is 1939, so let's grab some of that, and let's grab some Rapa, because it is a year of a lot of conflict, as we probably all know. And I would like to beat these guys up if possible. I can't even go to war with them. Ethiopian Empire, how many divisions they have? Up to 39. Of course, our divisions are not too bad themselves at this point. Um, they are 20 combat width, which is not bad. Oh, they rejected us? I don't know about that. This was a certain campaign that's going a certain direction. Um, spider force will demand for the French Alps. France has expressed their dismissal of our claims. We still have other ways of seizing this territory. We choose to go forward with them. Well, are they in the Allies? They are not. Oh, they're already fighting the Germans. Oh. They have a lot of divisions, though. I don't think we can really take them on, so I think it'd be probably be best to see if we can actually get that territory for free. The Austrian Navy veteran offers his services. Under the guise of a European tour with his musically talented family, a veteran submarine captain's cross our boards from Austria and is offering his services to the Swiss Confederation in exchange for asylum. The old von Thrav had an impressive record with the Austro Hungarian Navy, but since the end of the Great War, the dissolution of the Empire and the loss of his fortune, he's performed with his family, singers, and musicians. Since the Germans liked an exhibition of Austria, he's been present in a service for them, thus he escaped. Certainly, his father's musical flair will be appreciated as his naval experiences, especially since we find ourselves with the coast and no naval staff to defend it. Same Switzerland performer, regardless, the waves will be alive with the sound of torpedoes. Wow. Plus 0.4 every day. Jesus. Uh, that's kind of insane. Let me grab that too. Switzerland. Oh, also, uh, let's see. So, France. Uh, I just don't think we can go to war with France just yet. Because they still rejected us. But we're doing Switzerland on the offensive because we can edit these division templates, which would be nice. Even though we're going to lose a lot of manpower. But whatever. We cannot rest on our mounds waiting to be attacked. We must take the initiative and bring the fight to our enemies before they can invade us. Only then can we be rest assured that the survival of the Swiss Confederation is guaranteed. After all, the best defense is a strong offense. As much as I like to do on taunt, it's still okay. Uh, Navy's okay. They're doing I didn't. Yeah, this this stuff is okay. Uh, Plains warfare would be nice. The Alpine protectorate. Oh, uh, we get the humanitarian. That's not bad. Never before have the Alps been united under a single regime until today. With the combined might, we can defend ourselves against any threat and extend that defense beyond the Alps. With our peaks as an impenetrable citadel, while our command will never falter. We're known as the Alpine Confederation. We get democratic unrest, even though we'll have democratic unrest over here too. Which does kind of suck, but whatever. That's eh, going to give us some debuffs, but whatever. That's okay with us. Stupid weapons, we want more here. And I want to continue to improve divisions, because right now these guys are not bad, but they're only 24 combo with, which could be better. So, and we just deployed more divisions, didn't we? Oh, good god. So we're trying to save stuff here, but whatever. Five more, nice. Switzerland on the offensive. If we can, maybe actually, maybe we'll attack Italy first. Especially if they're diplomatically alone and isolated. That might not be a bad idea. We're trying to some improved divisions, of course. Um, now again, we must stop the spread of the mafia before it gets out of hand. Sure. I'm not sure how we can do this tile too, but whatever. So now we can edit these guys, which is not bad. Militia though is not good. So compared to infantry, you get more training time, but it's just better overall. You know, how we reset this? Let's duplicate it first, just in case. Oh, it's down here. Oh. Did they auto convert? Um It's not bad, fourteen. Oh, we can't come. Convert them over to there either. Which kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. You guys are 18 combat width. And you're eight, so. Oh, whoops! Did I? Whoopsie. So what happens if we do this and then do that? Train, 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 train. And then, of course, we'll try to liberate Italy. Through the centuries, Switzerland has seen petty savvy states and small kingdoms to its south fight each other and eventually be absorbed into a feudal monarchy. It's well read that the Republica Sociale Italia is liberated from the shackles of autocracy and fascism by uh, her older siblings. Plains warfare. 
Switzerland is an apple opportunity to train in valleys, mountains, hills, and forests, but if we are to fight in foreign lands, we must adapt to the modern doctrines of war. We've seen how fast moving mechanized infantry can shock defenses and provide swift victory, so we can learn from this and bring the Swiss army to the 20th century. Well, everyone, we're currently doing planes warfare. We did protect Liechtenstein. So if you're about that, please go right ahead. I didn't realize we would, do, would turn communist right now, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I guess I read this earlier about purchase of German planes with an outdated air force and lacking industry and technology to produce aircraft in any significant amounts. We're forced to rely on purchasing them from our neighbors. Uh, buying the planes we need from the German rocket only provides with the equipment we need, but also help to keep ourselves on the good side. So we are communists, didn't realize that's the way we would go, but you know, it is what it is. Um, what purpose tanks, army XP, sponges, fly hubs. Oh, uh, well. That's we're gonna go in. Because I'm not sure what's going on anymore. Like, I'll be honest, I really have no idea what's going on. So we're gonna go to war with these guys. They're not aligned, and uh, we should do a okay. Uh, grab some more extraction because I can. Got a couple more divisions here, which is nice. There you go, good luck. Convert them, that's fine. Uh, I'm not, I, I really have no idea what happened here, but they don't like one to five divisions max, so I figured it'd probably be a good time to go. Yeah, they've up to 15 now, so. Should do okay, in theory. Plenty of political power. War bonds? Sure, why not? Two. Any better radar? Yes, please. Don't really have that many planes at all, but whatever. It does extend our border with the French, or I guess the Germans actually instead, but you know it's all right. Whatever. We're still demobilizing, huh? Very extensive. Warfare? Probably not. Infantry? Sure, why not? Uh, oh. Okay. A very aggressive Switzerland we are. Because this is slowly going up, it's barely going down now. Because this guy's giving us more daily democracy support as well as um, a democratic unrest. Which is making it very hard to get down here, which sucks. All right, we got France. And we've got a navy. Look at that. I'm kind of proud. Von Trapp, even though you're a sea dude, uh, you got a navy to focus on now. Not bad either. Um, wasn't really expecting this. Didn't expect it to turn communist either. Um, what are we missing? Guns? Lots of guns, actually. I would, to be honest. Truth be told. Yeah. Just need to lower this more. To lower the kind support, lower the fashion support. That'd be nice. Bam, this was Kami Spartan. Kami Spartan supposed great danger to the Union of the Alpine Cantons. Despite the distance between us and the Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia, the revolutionary influence of the could be felt in the air. We're going to risk destabilizing a country in such a dangerous times, so we must act swiftly and ban any part that seeks up in an undermining government. Honestly, I might just go ahead and just, just find the... Oh, God. Do that, maybe. Let's see how that turns out. Definitely don't have it like that. Oh! Have it rising up or something? Oh! What the heck happened here? Huh. They were a puppet. Maybe I was wrong. Huh. Alright, interesting. Yeah, whatever. Well. Covenant of the Mediterranean. Death of the Fascists. We'll see.
What, what if you decide to make these guys really freaking thick? These guys are some thick daddies. Drop them like a nation's a national front. Um, more daily fashion support. That seems okay, not great. Not really what it wanted to do. Modernize the Air Force would be nice, though. It's good enough that the modern warfare is defined not only by what happens on the battlefield, but also above and in the open skies we have to defend and dominate. Minus 1940 research speeds, please. We get all, roughly three political power a day, which is insane. Um, sure, since we do have a fleet. Medium tank designer? Sure. Nice. Yeah, getting rid of this guy would be really good, but I don't know if we can now. Which really sucks. Full cantonal power. Democratic Party. Huh. Well, I may have to use cons commands. We'll see. Grants getting principles. No, it's okay. Als Etter. Hmm. To declare the Alpine Confederation. I would be democratic for this, though. But can't quite do that. So we just have to manually justify, which is fine, whatever. It'll be my first time trying to do that. Excavation. 1940. Now we're done with this. Yugoslavia's a mess. So, that was the easiest time I've ever taken. Wait. Taking out. Uh, there's a monarchy here, too. I don't know how they got Bourgeon and how they have so much resistance. My god. Are they doing, like, no garrisons or something here? Why is it like this? Are they? Why is Poland at war with? Huh? Left. Oh, Trotsky. Oh, is the axis already over them? I guess they did break the Molotov Ribbentrop Act. This has turned into a very weird world. Holy crap! License axis plane designs. Swiss are plane designs. I do kind of like that as well, but the Panoramaheim. Daily fashion support goes way up. Hmm. Crackdown and descent. Compliance growth speed goes up more. Which we can actually kind of, kind of use, yeah. We know the German Reich of established training center for training fifth column saboteurs in Stuttgart, down the Panorama. That's why we must empower the federal police with an espionage of their division to deal with these threats and fight against foreign espionage and sabotage, of course. Um, after that. Crackdown on descent. Switzerland cannot be disunited in towns where a single crack in our society can lead to the crumbling of the Alpine government. I want that compliance growth speed. That's pretty much why we're here, and we're going to lower democracy support to military police. Oh, yeah. Expand federal police intelligence. The enemy lurks in the shadow and can take any shape, including the shape of our own population. That's why the intelligence department of the federal police must have the tools to crush the scent wherever it lays. Military police. Our long standing federal institutions will not be enough to maintain the order we need in these uncertain times. Military police will be needed if we wish to maintain a neutrality. Martial law. Some situations require a scalpel, but at our present time, we do not feature those. Uh, the Union of Alpine can. Cantons that needs a hammer it can trust to keep our enemies and our population under our control. So we lose growth speed, but we get growth speed anyways, so I'm not concerned. We get better resistance growth. And fascism and communism growth go down, which is okay, martial law. Promote Tobler. Mm, can't go to that. Expand weapons industry be nice too. Our meager military industrial capacity will not suffice in an all-out war. Modern conflict is won by whoever runs out of bullets last. So we must make sure we can make equipment for a war that at a fast rate and for longer, of course, too. Nice. Balkan Defense League, Axis, Covenant of the Mediterranean, which will fall apart, hopefully, if we can take out Italy fast enough. As we have a navy, I mean, that's freaking awesome. A navy for the Swiss. How many more days do we have to wait? Oh, almost none. Oh boy. Go and just convert, so... Even though we have less divisions, we'll have less supply usage, hopefully. Maybe. Maybe not. And, uh... 
Our deficit won't be so, as so bad. My god, our artillery deficit's so bad. Well, let's see. Oh, maybe we should stop training the Navy, too. Um... They're definitely trying to hold out. They do have a militia tier, too. It's not very good, but they are dug in, which sucks. Oh, there's a other two next. Oh, they took it over already. That sucks. I love being the aggressor. Twenty-eight thousand. Why is Turkey a major power? Oh, it. So he's been deposed. Nice. I'm not sure I'm gonna take out Turkey myself, but whatever. We need a spot more fuel, aren't we? Not bad, not bad. Crackdown descent, of course. What was this? Occupied Italian territory. We find ourselves in control of Italian territory, fighting alongside an Italian ally. We can free up more forces and direct them most world by hanging these territories as Regno del Sud. Oh, now they have a civil war too. Well, God freaking dang it! I want what I want here. How are we losing these temp divisions? How do we lose a carrier? Oh, it must not be very good. That sucks, bro. Bro. Oh, wow, we lost even more ships. Yeah, our ships suck. It wasn't even our ships, really. Better get something out of this deal. Then those will be interesting to see if they've done anything for like civil wars like this, because we deserve a lot. I'll be honest, we deserve a lot. We really do. Seen some convoys, that's nice. Palermo. Nice. Cracking down on descent. Oh my god, can I just have some fuel, please? Democratic unrest, crackdown on dissent. That's not good. Socialist education? Wait, are you my puppet? Oh, you're my puppet. How did we get a puppet? Weird timeline now.
very strange. Hey, we lost two heavy cruisers. That's not good. Come on, guys. Ah, so that's why they did that. Okay. Which already oh seven so oh, that's a lot. Strikes. Do that one. Can we do anything against the Germans at all? You know what? Their board is kind of exposed. Might be a good time to try out what we can do. Sure, but still. Come on, get in there. It's only five divisions in circle, but that'd be great. Nice. How is Turkey a great power in this timeline? I don't understand. Oh, did we lose Vienna? No, we have not. Oh, Hungary's in here too. Oh goodness. Uh, maybe we're going to war them. It might have been a slight mistake immediately, but we'll see. Well, everyone, as much as I'd like to continue the campaign, the game keeps crashing on me because I'm sure we've actually broken this really, really freaking hard. Um, it, it's so bad that when I try to save, it, the, the save for this file, it, 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 I, it's not the flag. It's not the same flag that we have right now. Um, it's broken, uh, which sucks, but it's been very interesting. I mean, we, 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 we took out Italy, basically. We have them under us. We took out all of France somehow, and we just had to go to war with Germany, but we're not really quite there yet. We had a little more time than we would be as we've been in the Soviet Union, or Union of Soviet Republics. And uh, Germany owns Southeast Asia again, and Great Britain is in the Axis, and well, you know, it's just kind of a giant mess. But that's all I like. Some like Mexicans. What the heck, America? Why'd you leave them alone like that? Whatever. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much where we'll probably end. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've, I've I've thoroughly enjoyed this campaign, even though it's not super long. But and we didn't really get to go all the way down here, but we basically already took these two out, and then we would just this as well. So. That's pretty much what I wanted to do, you know, try to rush and try to get as expansive, you know, Switzerland as possible and then kind of see what happens. Even though we are solely, well, I guess we're communists, even though we're trying to push to become non aligned as we're trying to get rid of democracy here too, it's, which is still going up and has enough influence, which is very weird. But, you know, I like the wacky path sometimes in Hoi 4, but if you enjoy the campaign, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.